Unfortunately, Lady Mary's husband did not appear in Downton Abbey, A New Era. More importantly, he has no interest in appearing in the third potential film. Does this mean he'll be killed off? When I pass you, I expect to see you cheer and wave. Does praying count? Henry! Spoilers ahead. Before we jump into details regarding Henry Talbot's departure from the Downton Abbey universe, we need to mention that the creator, the cast members, and the entire Downton crew are interested in the idea of another film. Do fans want another sequel? Well, we already know the answer to that question, so yeah, we're just waiting for Julian Fellows to greenlight the third Downton film. Now, most cast members from the popular series return for the sequel to the 2019 successful film, with only two familiar faces absent. Matthew Good, who played Henry Talbot, Lady Mary's husband, and Lily James, who we all know as Lady Rose didn't return to reprise their roles in the much-anticipated A New Era. Lily James decided not to return because she felt like her story was already given a proper conclusion, and we agree. But what about Matthew Goody? On the 9th of the next month. In the car you tested in Yorkshire? Exactly. See? We'll get you interested yet. No, you won't. Well, the reasons for his departure are linked to his busy schedule. And yes, his absence didn't make any sense, especially during some of the most important moments for the Crawley family. Being one of the main characters in the story, Henry's absence was explained by him traveling the world racing cars. And as Lady Mary says, he simply doesn't want to come home. As for his appearance in the first film, Good made a small but significant cameo. As already mentioned, Matthew Good's schedule was the main reason for him not appearing in the second Downton film. As he said, his work on his new TV show, The Offer, didn't allow him to make a cameo in Downton. But rumor has it that he wasn't really interested in making an appearance and The Offer was just an excuse. We were introduced to Good's character in Season 5's Christmas special and he was the ultimate love interest to Lady Mary. He became her husband and the two left the series on a good note. Prior to the release of the first film, the actor told Radio Times, I'm just popping in at the end, which is a nice way to do it. Back then, he said that he has a really busy schedule, explaining the short cameo. He was working on the TV show A Discovery of Witches. Good's departure from the sequel was followed by a new love interest for Lady Mary, director Jack Barber, played by Hugh Dancy. And although Mary stayed faithful to her husband, we don't expect the creators to cover Henry's absence with him being abroad anymore. Does this mean that Lady Mary will have to grieve another husband? It's possible. If Goods decides not to appear in the third film, the creators might consider the idea of killing his character. They already confirmed that you need to smash that like button if you haven't done it already. Now seriously, to be completely honest with you, we never really liked Henry and him being killed off won't be an issue. But Lady Mary has been through a lot and grieving another husband will surely mess up her life. This only brings us to Mary's uncertain future. Heavens, Mr. Talbot. One thing most viewers believe is that Lady Mary will face another tragedy in the potential third installment. This sequel to the 2019 film included a lot of character development, heartbreaking scenes, and some really intense storylines, which only led to some incredible plot twists. As already mentioned, the second film introduces Hugh Dancy's character as the new love interest for Lady Mary, but his appearance meant more than you'd think it did. With Matthew Good not interested in Downton anymore, Mary, played by the amazingly talented Michelle Dockery, is left without a husband during some of the most heartbreaking moments in her life. A new era made sure to go into details about Mary's husband, and those details were not something that made us happy and satisfied. In fact, these details were included in order for us to see Mary's incredibly tragic life. As you already know, A New Era introduces Hollywood director Jack Barber as he comes to Downton with a film crew of actors and technicians. Mary becomes involved in the process by voicing over a character for the film. During the process, Jack and Mary become closer, which leads to the two of them going into town to watch a silent film together. Near the end of the movie, Barber asks Mary if he can kiss her, but she wants to stay loyal to Henry. So the answer is no. This is a really mature answer, and we can see great character development in Mary. Clearly, she's now a fully grown person, because if you compare her character in A New Era to Lady Mary in Season 1 of Downton Abbey, you'll notice just how different she used to be. She was more irresponsible, and by refusing to do anything with Jack, she has proven that she's now ready to run Downton. At one point during A New Era, she tells Jack that he reminds her of her first husband, Matthew Crawley, a character played by Dan Stevens. More precisely, she says Matthew was a dreamer and compares his aspirations to Jack's, but this doesn't mean that she did the right decision. Although we understand her devotion, her life might see another tragedy if Henry continues to focus on his hobby rather than on his family. 
Do you guys think Downton Abbey A New Era indicates an even sadder future for Lady Mary? Let us know. Now we've come to the most important question in our video. Will Downton Abbey 3 happen? May I kiss you? No. Downton Abbey 3 is not confirmed yet, but with a new era continuously breaking records, it's just a matter of time until Julian Fellows greenlights another installment. The most important thing for now is that the sequel debuted in the UK cinemas to thousands and thousands of positive reviews. This sequel to the first film was practically divided into two parts, the Crawley family split between the Crawley estate and the French Riviera. Yes, we finally saw the much anticipated trip to France, as you already know, the Dowager told her family that she somehow inherited a villa there, a gift from a man with whom she was in a relationship when young. In order to see what the hell happened, some of the Crawleys and their staff head to France. In the meantime, a movie crew comes to Downton and they are being watched by Mary. Despite squeezing as many storylines as they can, the creators of the film made sure to leave enough space for another film. When it comes to returning cast members, we don't think Matthew Good will return. I mean, it's super clear that he's no longer interested in the Downton universe, but there's another cast member we won't see in the third installment unless the actress decides to appear through flashbacks. If I'd been tested again, I would have failed. No. Oh. The obvious actress who won't return is Dame Maggie Smith, since her character died at the end of the sequel, a scene that left me heartbroken for a lifetime. Anyway, a new era made us believe that we won't see Lady Cora in the third film for a brief moment. She had an illness scare, but thankfully she was given the right treatment so Elizabeth McGovern will return to reprise her role along with Hugh Bonneville as Robert Crawley. The sequel also confirmed that Michelle Dockery will certainly return as the new captain of this state, but viewers would also love to see her sister, Lady Edith, played by Laura Carmichael. We're 100% sure that fellows would make sure to bring back other family members and staff. But there are some fans who believe that the third film will focus on the new generation of Danton characters, which means we might see the third film introduce Lady Mary, Lady Edith, and Tom's descendants. I self die. <laughs> we also know that you need to smash that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. No, seriously, do you think it's time for viewers to meet the new generation of characters? Let us know. See you in the next video.